But is this a good strategy? Joining us now from Washington, Josh Gottheimer, a former speechwriter for President Bill Clinton, and Mark Thiessen, former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. Josh Gottheimer, let me begin with you and ask, when does the president finally get down to governing? When does he get down to making tough decisions for all the American people, as opposed to getting out there and just acting like he's another candidate running for another office? I think he's been pretty busy since the moment he uh, got to the White House with, of course, health care, as we saw this week, where he had some big accomplishments, but the economy, energy, wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, he's been working nonstop. But you have to get out there as a president and, of course, sell your agenda to the American people. Getting elected is just the beginning, but when you've got folks on the right throwing mud at you all day long, a president has to use the bully pulpit and make his point constantly. Josh, what happened to, I'm going to be the bipartisan president? What happened to trying to build bridges and reaching out to people with whom you might have ideological differences, but doing so in the spirit of what's best for America? I mean, I don't think anything you played showed that he's being partisan. I think he's, he's obviously defending himself from attacks from the right about his policies on energy, on health care, on the economy. And he, so, but at the same time, he's pushing for his agenda and trying to bring people together. Olympia Snow, the latest one this week, when getting some bipartisan product progress on health care. So I don't think any of this is a sign of uh, leaning one way or the other. I think it's a sign of actually trying to govern and get his agenda through. Well, it seems kind of small to me. Olympia Snow was one, you know, oh, but Mark Thiessen, let me come to you. If you look at the president's sure. schedule, where he goes and when he goes, it looks like he's still campaigning because he's setting himself up for 2012. Am I wrong? That's exactly right. He's in the permanent campaign. And the best evidence is the answer to the question he asked himself in that segment you just showed. What have we done in the last nine months? If you go back and look at the two pre his two predecessors, George Bush and Bill Clinton, in 2001, George Bush by this time had passed the No Child Left Behind Act through both houses of Congress with the support of Ted Kennedy and the Liberal Democrats. And by this time in the Clinton presidency, uh, who Josh worked for, he had passed NAFTA with Republican votes. So both presidents by this time had two bipartisan initiatives that they had passed through both houses of Congress. Barack Obama doesn't have a single bipartisan initiative. He's not trying to have one. He's in the permanent campaign. But, but, come, but come on, you've you got health care. I mean, just to answer that quickly, you have to look at the stimulus package where he first walked, when he first came to, the, came to office and stopped one of the worst economic calamities in our country's history. Just because the Republicans are deciding he, to stonewall him everywhere he turns, that's not the Republicans and they're not willing to, and they're not willing to re oh, come on, you know, they oppose him on every single thing he does. What he's trying name to reach a single out. He bipartisan has him over initiative he's proposed. Well, name one single by one name single one. initiative the Republicans haven't stood up in a post. How about his economic the Republicans aren't the president. Right when he came in. But let's, let's, what let's about stop for a second. Name let's stop for a second. Initiative. Let's stop for a second. Hang package. on, gentlemen, gentlemen. The stimulus Let, package. Gentlemen, just stop for a second. Both sides have had yeah. to deal with economic problems in this country. Both sides are trying to deal sure. with the climate change issue, with health care. But what we see exactly. from President Obama is at the moment he seems to be trying to stir his political base absent any real That's account, exactly right. just stir the base no, by but, pointing out what the but, Republicans but are doing or what Fox News I, is doing, but he doesn't seem to be talking about what he's doing. Oh, come on. I well, mean, I think if, if you look, and if we look ahead, at... Look, Josh, go ahead. Respond to that. Well, just let, I would just look at your boss, uh, President Bush. All he did was look to one side of the aisle. I think George I think George Bush had made that clear that he wasn't interested in bipartisanship. Barack Obama has gone out of his way to reach across the aisle just because the Republicans want to stonewall. That's no, one thing. All right. Let me just say this. So wait, hang on. Hang on. Okay, you made your sorry, point. Give, give Mark okay, a chance go ahead. here. Sorry. Sorry, Juan. Go ahead, Mark. I mean, it's absolutely not true. He's pursued on every issue from the stimulus to health care to everything else. He's pursued a maximalist liberalist, liberal position. And on health care, it's backfiring on him because you've got all these moderate Democrats who are elected in Republican leaning districts in an, off, in, a, in an odd election year who aren't supporting him on health care because he has pursued a, a radical maximalist position. Uh, so it, it's not working for him. He has not sought out and compromised. If Barack Obama on health care had said, let's have a public option, but you know what? Let's also expand health savings accounts or association health plans or some other Republican initiatives and brought the other side in, the Republicans would be divided instead of the Democrats. Well, so now, Josh, this, this Josh, Josh, I don't think, think Josh, Josh, him. Hey, Josh, I, I don't think yeah, anybody, I, yeah. I think everybody knows Republicans have been highly critical of President Obama. I think lots of people believe that Republicans are being obstructionist in terms of the health care issue. But at the same time, exactly. isn't it President Obama's obligation as president of all the people to stand above that kind of fray and not to use every event as a campaign opportunity to hammer the opposition and simply go out for votes. I think that's why independents but, are but, moving away from the guy. 
Juan, but Juan, I hear you, but I just don't think it's true that he uses every single event to hammer the opposition. I think he's constantly reaching out and being presidential and being above it. There's a reason why he has 53% approval rating. He's got support from both sides of the aisle, and there's a reason why his agenda right. is moving. Let me along. give Mark the last energy. word here. Mark, Mark go right ahead. In two decades. Come on, Mark. Mark he's Bush the most partisan president in two decades. Rating. Now hold on. Hey, it's my turn now. Okay, Josh, hold on a second. Okay. Um, he's the most go partisan ahead, president. The independents, as Juan said, are running away from him because this, because he's pursuing these maximalist far left positions on every issue. And I'll give you a test. Here's the test of uh, for Obama. Uh, here's an opportunity for bipartisanship. Afghanistan. Here's an issue where he, he went in and said this is a priority. He, f he s announced a new strategy, fired the commander and replaced him with his own guy. And now he's going to have to ahead. make a decision, gentlemen. Well, Josh, it's, it's Mark, all is he going to Josh, Mark, we got to go. Thank you another. all.